Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. Last time, we almost finished up the Freeze Easy Peak, except for one race that we couldn't finish because we're too slow for a big fat bear to beat another big er fatter bear. And now, before we do anything else, I'm gonna try to make myself dizzy. Okay, never mind. Forget that. Um, let's see. What we gotta do now is we need to head on it to up those stairs for Gobi's Valley, which I don't remember a whole lot about. Um, I went ahead and went through it on my other file that's completed, just to like get the layout of the area again, because because like every time I was thinking about the area, the only thing I could remember was the uh, the sand level from from uh, Super Mario 64, and I don't know why, but I couldn't remember what that area was like in there, and so I went in there to look around for a few things, and honestly, I left, uh, I left about as confused as when I went in, so let's just, let's just try to get this part over with. Might as well grab the boot so we don't take any damage on the way in. Do -do 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 -do. Zooey sure does have some long legs. They must get pretty cramped in that little backpack all the time. And also, she has some pretty dang big wings. She's a, a Breagle or something like that, which is apparently some mutated form of a seagull. But look how big her wings are. Those are actually those are actually pretty big wings. Grunty's legs and stomach fins. Goodbye to all those double chins. Probably got like quadruple chins there, Grunt. Alright, I believe we talked to uh, Brent Tilda, who I've been calling Mud Tilda for some reason. I think we talked to her last time. But let's just make sure. Grunty's best friend. Oh, yeah, we t yeah, we talked to her. Okay. Alright, Gilby's Valley, which is apparently located inside a really fat palm tree. Okay. Sounds fair. It's better than all the worlds being located in pictures. Not that I didn't like that, but I, li I just like how this is a bit more unique. They're all located in a cool little area. You got the first one in a termite hill, the second one in a, in a treasure chest, and so forth. You'll find one more move in here, Banjo. Um, I do believe that this is actually the last move um, that you learn. I was thinking about it, and I did not—I do not remember learning any other move. Crap! I didn't mean to go on that. I don't remember learning any other moves um, after this level. I think this is going to be the last move that we learn. And I was looking over the moves again, and pretty much every single move that we've learned. Actually, no, forget that. Every move that we've learned has been for Kazooie. The only moves that we got for Banjo were in the Mumbo, or in the, uh, or in the uh, Valley area where we started off, and that was the swipe attack, the rolling attack, jumping and climbing trees, and swimming. Every every other move that we've got has been for Kazooie. All right, what do we got? Trucker once rain. Gasp. I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts? Kazooie, will eggs and feathers help? Okay, so this guy's roots doesn't go, doesn't go down like three or four, not even like a foot right there. All he has to do is extend his back two roots, about a foot, and there you go. He can get all the, he can get all the water he needs. I mean, that's a really, that's a really sad tree if it can't just extend its roots for some water right there. See, okay, nothing in these trees, I don't think. Besides feathers. A whole bunch of notes. Ah, crap! Fucking hand. These things remind me of the, um, hands in the Legend of Zelda games where they take you back to the beginning of dungeons. These ones don't do that, they just wail on you for a few minutes. But the first time I saw these things, they scared the crap out of me. Because they start rumbling around on the ground for a few for a few seconds, and they try to pop up where you are if you're gonna stand still. So scared the crap out of me the first time I played this game. Uh, 
let's see, let's see if we can't get to a good vantage point. Might as well go to the top of this guy. Let's see, banjo door. Which we can't get in. Besides, what is this guy anyways? He appears to be a banjo sphinx. Sphinxes and Kazooie targets and some other stuff. All right, let's go ahead and start on. Let's go ahead and start on this side of the world. Let's see if we can't get anything done over here. Let's see. Some eggs, which we have plenty of. Boots. Let's see. Ah, for an extra life and for ah no, get up. Dang it, you're a bastard. For extra lives and some notes and a bubble token. All right, let's uh let's dab those real quick. I can ah, you son of a bitch. At least it's at least it's not like Mario where uh if you drop too far down in the sand you end up uh. Getting stuck head first into the sand. I thought that was pretty cool, actually. I didn't mind that. Because usually it softened fall damage. Barely enough time to get that. And there was a flight pad up there, so. Maybe we can fly around the level and look around for some stuff. Let's go on top of this guy's nose real quick, though. See if we can find anything useful. Besides a mumbo token, woohoo! And he's blinking. I didn't know Sphinx statues blinked. And so does that little thing right there. I'm guessing we're gonna have to fly through it. Let's see, there's a flight pad, so we might as well grab some uh, feathers so we can go dashing around through the air. My dose is all blocked up. Um, well, eggs in this game seem to solve pretty much 99% of all problems. So, let's see if... No, don't activate your Wonder Wing. Let's see if our eggs will solve this guy's problem. <laughs> okay, apparently he does. Hey, that tickles. Maybe the other nostril? Ah, you son of a bitch. Maybe if you clear his nose, he'll open up that little door in the bottom of his, uh, on the bottom of his feet. That'd be a nice little reward, probably a jiggy in there or something. Anyways, now that we're up here, let's get a good look at the area. Let's see, we got that little ring, a little flying carpet. Let's see, several pyramids, two pyramids, and then a square pyramid, and then a empty moat area, and it looks like a uh, horsefly type enemy. Huh, seems like a pretty cool area. I just wish I remembered it. Because everything was already cleared when I, uh, when I when I went through on my other file, so I couldn't remember what any of the jiggies... Ah, you son of a bitch! I couldn't remember what any of the jiggies or anything were. Alright. I'm going to try this one more time. Hopefully without failing miserably.
wonder if you ground pound his nose, but that'll do anything. Nope. He doesn't even feel it. Alright. There we go. And for all our help, he sneezes on us. That little bastard. Ah, that clear Jinxie's nose. Come on in. You gonna give me a glass of milk? Maybe a nice cool glass of water? And I'm failing miserably at falling and spreading my wings to not take fall damage. Alright, let's see, what do we got in here? Some notes. Let's grab this stuff down here. Some notes. And... That appears to be more Sphinx statues. We'll deal with those in just a second. See what we got. See if anything else is in here, though. Ah! Besides this guy? No, no. Go away. Leave me alone. There we go. Alright, let's see if anything else is in here. Flying carpet, flying carpet, and more flying carpets. Huh. There's a lot of flying carpets. And a good little selection of eggs, so I'm guessing we're probably going to have to shoot more eggs. Let's try shooting again this guy. See what happens. Okay, so you shoot eggs in his mouth, and then you can go to the next one. Ah! If I didn't fail miserably. Dang, damn it. Alright, let's try this again. Red feathers and a ginjo! Hello! Alright, now for you. Is there anything else over here? Nope, nope, nope. And that was a little faster than the other one, and I did not make that. Son of a bitch. I can already tell this episode's just gonna be a montage of me failing miserably. Including simple jumps. <laughs> All right, let's uh magic our way into this one one more time. There we go. No, you son of a bitch, banjo, you little rat bastard. Just eat the damn egg. There we go. Alright. Got it. And I think... That must be the last one. So there's our Jinjo. Or not, not Jinjo. Jiggy. Damn it. Alright. I hope the other ones aren't as annoying as that. Anyways. Let's depart from this area and see what else, see what other wonders this world has for us. Alrighty, let's see. Let's see, here's some notes. Let's grab this guy for a honeycomb. Pretty weak. I would have thought he would have been stronger. Anything down here? Ah! Damn it. Not what I was trying to do, but there's a Jinjo and some notes and ha! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Son of a bitch, I died. I was trying to activate Wonder Wing so I could dash to wherever I needed to go, but apparently I wasn't good enough. 
Alright, let's try this again. Maybe there's some boots around here we can uh, utilize. Or better yet, let's see what's up here first. No, you son of a bitch. It's not what I was trying to do, you little rat, rat bastard. There we go. Funhouse slide. All right. Let's see, we got two more over here. There should be some boots around here to use these. Uh, to use for down there. Unless we got to do something else with it later. Are we back. Ah, you son of a bitch! Nope. Banjo, you rat bastard. Alright. And here's our first pyramid we can enter, apparently. So let's, uh... Get these notes. And then go for it. We'll come back to down there later. This. Actually, hang on. Maybe we can do something here? I'm gonna guess eggs again. You gotta shoot more eggs at them. Okay, that works. And a little pyramid's rising out of the top. Maybe if you shoot enough eggs, you'll get a, a full pyramid. And maybe then you'll get the boots you need to go down there. Don't you dare fall in there, Banjo. I will kill you. I guess that's not much of a threat since you've already died at this level. It's probably a record. Alright. I wonder how many more of these we gotta do. Probably three or four. So that makes a whopping, like, four pyramids in this area. And a Sphinx you can go to. That's pretty neat. I don't think any of them are going to be as big as the uh, pyramid from uh, Super Mario 64, but... No, I'm trying not to fall down. There we go. Let's see. That pyramid of Super Mario 64 was pretty damn big. I gotta give it that much. And it was pretty fun, too. Okay, so apparently three was the lucky number. And there's another Mumbo token. I was hoping that would have, like, uh, activated some boots for use down there, but I guess not. But is there really anything else down there? A couple notes. Eh, we'll get them at some point, I guess. Now, let us check out the inside of this place. Gotta be something cool in here. Gotta be something cool in here. This is King Sandy Butt's tome. Seriously? Sandy Butt? Turn back or face his wrath. You choose not to heed our warning. Prepare to run. Okay, so put on Kazooie, and I guess we have a time limit. That's a kind of bastardly game, but oh well. Probably gonna take probably gonna take a few trips to explore this whole area. Let's see, there's some red feathers. We don't seem to need those. Need those. Let's go over here. Uh, let's see. Hey, look, it's the witch switch. Jiggy, which is pretty close, actually. And we got 20 seconds to get out. 20 seconds. We can do it. We can do it. Or maybe we can't do it. 
There we go. No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. Gee, don't tell me. It's gonna be a uh, jiggy. Gee, what a shocker. Hey, there's a gold feather in this pot. Very nice. Anything in this one? Mumble token? And there's another one. Well, three, four tendrils are ready. We're only, we're only missing one. Maybe they're hiding the other one in here somewhere? And seriously, they put, they put the timer back on again. Oh well, at least it didn't, at least it didn't, um... By the way, these guys right here, you cannot kill unless you use Wonder Wing, just so you know. But I was saying, maybe, maybe they put the, uh, other Jinjo over here somewhere. Nope. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. I went through this place and there was nothing else, uh, in here, so... Just ignore this place from now on. Well, that was quick. And now we're... Back over here. That was a very quick area. And there's a mumble token over there. Let's grab that real quick. No, you rat bastard. Come here, Mr. Token. Alright. And let's see what's at the top of this pyramid. And it's a race to the top. And that's really bastardly. The timer starts before you even get up there. That sucks. And... I don't think I'm gonna make it unless I jump. And you can't even jump that high. That is a load of bull. Okay, screw you. You know what? At the very least, I'll grab the notes on the outside and that mumble token that I think I saw. Grunty's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. Well, luckily for us, we're going to find some faster feet very soon. Alright, let's see. There's our free life. Extra life. What? Ah, you just, I thought I thought I fell. I thought I fell, but I, I thought I fell to my death again. But anyways, if we come over this way without getting killed by this guy, and head up here. No. Okay, I'm in the wrong area. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, this way. We gotta head this way. Touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry. I didn't know that guy talked. Considering I've dealt with like three of them, and no one um, ever said anything to me, I didn't know. But anyways... Ha! Don't think you can use these until you've found out how. So, that means we gotta find Banjo. And I kind of thought that Banjo was right here, but he's somewhere else actually. So let's do that. There we go. Anything in this cactus thingy? Nope. Uh, what is over here? Nope. Stay. I was gonna use you, you damn frickin'. Alright. Maybe that thing will turn around again. I wanna go flying on the carpet. The carpet doesn't like me. Forget you, carpet. I thought you were friendly like the one in Aladdin, but I guess not. Anyways, we got sidetracked, so let's go in here, which we can't. So never mind. But anyways, here's our final jig jinjo. That was very easy. And a 
switch. What is this for? What does this do? Hey, a honeycomb piece. Sweet. But... Still trying to figure out what's in here. So let's ground pound it. And the door opens. And that's one thing I'm not really liking about this level is the uh, timer stays on for stuff like that when you uh, press the switch. It shows the animation. It should, it should show the animation, then start the timer. Die, bastard. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get that mobile token. Get it, banjo. You idiot. Okay, so what the heck is this place for? I am not really sure. Let's see, anything to get? Okay, we got a picture of Banjo, which I didn't realize I could get, so... Oh, I think I know what this is. This is, um... You gotta find the... You gotta find where each of the pictures are that match. They match each other, okay. So there's those. And apparently there's a time limit. Let's see, what do we got? See, there's Kazooie. There's an egg. I think there was an egg up here. There we go. Alright, what's this? A note. Let's try this one. A feather. Uh, let's see, there was a feather. I think right here. Nope. Right here. No. I don't have the best memory, I'll tell you guys that right now. Okay, um, I know the honeycomb was like right here. Yes. Alright. And Banjo, you were right there, I think. There we go. Let's see, what's this? Feather and... Feather. Alright, very nice, very nice. Kazooie and... Zooey. Yeah, we're gonna cut it kind of close. Yay, we got it with 16 seconds to spare. I feel so smart. Alright, looks like we're almost halfway done with this world. Which is going along pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, let's see if we can't get to... That little island in the middle right there real quick. Let's see if we can't get on that uh, carpet ride as it comes around. There's a camel over there. That's pretty neat. I feel like I'm in Aladdin. Except I'm not. Hi, Mr. Camel. Pant. It's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Aren't you supposed to be a camel that has, like, water stored in your hump or something? Shouldn't be that hot, you bud. And he ceases out of Jiggy. Yay. Here's your reward, Bear. Gilby's off to cool down. And I have no idea where he went. I think I remember, but I don't remember. Well, that was pretty good for, uh... For 30 minutes. We got... We got five Jiggies and five Jinjos, and I think next time we are going to finish up uh, this world, or try to, and I'm going to try not to fail miserably with uh, dying and stuff. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.